once again everybody it's Scott X1307 uh, back again the latest flea market haul um, got up uh, Saturday morning it was uh, raining and storming and everything so uh, really I uh, didn't go uh, usually when that happens there's not much going on at flea market but Sunday it was kind of nice uh, went out that morning and uh, I'm glad I did. Picked up a uh, good bit of good stuff. A lot of quarter books and uh, a few priced books. Um, didn't spend too much money. But uh, for some reason, there weren't a lot of people there uh, that morning. I uh, started getting busier as I left. Um, but, uh, you know, it worked out good for me. Uh, so first I want to show off uh, another old uh, Kung Fu movie I picked up. Uh, this was a dollar. Uh, this is another uh, Shaw Brothers film uh, from the uh, late 70's I believe uh, called Golden Swallow which is actually uh, about this woman. Uh, she is the Golden Swallow, a martial arts master pretty good movie um, it's about uh, her and a guy that she trained with um, haven't seen each other for years and he is uh, he's going around fighting these uh, different clans that are uh, um, basically like uh, you know the mob they extort money from people and protection rackets and things uh, and he keeps leaving a dagger that's actually her trademark it has a uh, uh, a swallow carved at the end, uh, trying to get her attention, so that uh, you know she'll come and find him, and they can meet back up. It's pretty good. A lot of good fighting. Um, like I said, it was only a buck. Uh, played really well. I'm always surprised that the uh, the discs are nice and clean, not scratched. So, and that was pretty cool. Now on to uh, some quarter books. Um, picked up only a couple of DC issues. Grabbed uh, issue number one of Infinity Inc. Uh, Roy Thomas and Jerry Ordway. Um, pretty neat series. This book is in really good shape. Uh, it does have a price stamp there in the middle, but it's not a big deal to me. And I grabbed a second copy of this uh, Heroes Against Hunger from DC. Uh, Neil Adams cover uh, for 20 cents. And it's got the same price stamp there under the CCA stamp, but uh, still books in really good shape, especially be unbagged and boarded. Pages are a little off white, but not bad. And. Uh, you know, like I said, Neil Adams cover, 20 cents. Couldn't pass it up. <clears throat> and I picked up a handful of Marvel issues, not that many. Um, found some pretty, uh, some pretty neat stuff though. Um, I grabbed a couple of more uh, Marvel Comics presents that I didn't have. Uh, this is number 98. This uh, really cool Sam Keith cover. And. Uh, the reverse side with Ghost Rider and issue 99 it's another great Sam Keith cover of Wolverine and uh, Ghost Rider again on the flip side <clears throat> and these next three books um, it was really cool to find these uh, working slowly on this series uh, volume 1 and volume 2 of course these are volume 2 and they're a little easier to find it's Marvel Spotlight. It's issue number five, Dragon Lord. It's in uh, probably VG shape, but for 20 cents, maybe fine minus. It's got some spine ticks, and that's the major thing. Page is a little off white, that's about it. Uh, I found an upgrade copy of uh, number nine with Captain Universe, which I already had, but it's in uh, really, really red condition. Um, I've had it for uh, 
uh, probably 20 years and uh, read it a number of times so it's it's a little beat up this one's in a little better condition and then uh, number 11 also of Captain Universe this one's in pretty good shape too um, this is I believe this is a second copy but uh, it's Heroes for Hope with the X-Men uh, another one of those benefit books uh, picked it up because it's Arthur Adams cover and uh, if I get to make it to Heroes uh, hopefully I can get him to sign uh, one of my copies and a uh, last uh, Marvel book that I picked up in the quarter books um, seen this in a couple of videos um, it's got a really really cool cover and I think that's why most people pick it up um, it's uh, Bizarre Adventures number 34 with the uh, skeleton Santa Claus coming out of the chimney not for kids um, really cool cover and it said for 20 cents um, it's only got uh, a few small spine ticks uh, other than that that's about it pages are a little off white um, that's usual you know uh, so that was really cool to find now, moving on to some uh, indie books that I found I found some really good stuff actually uh, some books going to uh, completing a couple of runs I'm working on I actually completed a couple of mini series so that was really nice um, but I picked this up uh, this is from Arrow Comics um, this is from the uh, late 80's uh, Dead World um, this cool kind of zombie cover um, never read any of the Dead World series um, but uh, I figured I'd pick up issue number one for 20 cents I believe it's uh, black and white interior um, it's got this black and white uh, back cover but, uh, those look pretty cool uh, found it was one of my favorite uh, sci-fi movies when I was a kid Forbidden Planet. It's from Innovation. This is issue number three. Uh, so now I believe I just need uh, issue number four and completes that little mini series. Um, I know I have the first two. And, uh, it's a pretty neat uh, painted cover. Now this book I was surprised to find, um, especially uh, for 20 cents. Um, it's in really good shape, very fine. J. Scott Campbell cover from Cliffhanger Image, Danger Girl number one. Uh, you know, like I said, very surprised to find that. Um, I know at one time it was a pretty hot book, but uh, I don't know about now. But uh, you know, it's a Campbell cover. Everybody seems to like that. Uh, to me, his art is okay. Um, it's kind of hit or miss with me. Some of his stuff is uh, really good, and some of it's a little too cartoony for me, but. It's pretty neat and I found uh, a few Dark Horse books uh, working on uh, Dark Horse Comics and Dark Horse Presents this was really cool Dark Horse Comics number one with that awesome Predator cover really really sharp uh, book is in very fine condition uh, pages are still pretty white and like I said it's just an awesome uh, awesome Predator cover. I also found issue number two, um, the Mike Manola Robocop cover. Really good shape, also. And this issue of Dark Horse Presents, I picked this up uh, mainly because I already have a copy. It, uh, I got it signed by Dave Dorman at SC Comic Con, and I wanted to pick up a uh, another copy just for reading. It's uh, number 36, Aliens vs. Predator. You see it's got some rubbing issues here, but you know, it's going to be my reader copy anyway, so not a big deal. I found some uh, Scout books. Um, actually from the uh, second series, uh, Scout War Shaman. Um, grabbed issue number 10. number 11 
and number 15 and that's pretty cool uh, working on completing uh, you know both those little runs and uh, those three issues will help out a good bit and I was looking at some of the boxes uh, he has underneath the table um, thought I had gone through all the boxes before but apparently I must have skipped some things because I found Nexus Liberator number three um, it's got a Wild Cretaceo cover inked by somebody else so it really doesn't bring out his style but uh, uh, unfortunately this is not uh, Steve Rude interior art you know, it's not bad the person doing it you can tell kind of tries to uh, mimic his style but uh, I'm trying to complete all the Nexus uh, run so um, and then I also found Alien Justice issue 3 of 3 and it's in really good shape this is uh, Steve Rude interior art which I just love his art is amazing and this is a great character so if you've never picked up anything uh, Nexus I highly recommend picking up some Nexus books I don't think you'll be disappointed especially if it's Mike Barron and Steve Rude and then I was lucky enough to find several issues of concrete um, I picked up uh, number six of Think Like a Mountain a little mini series I believe that completes that mini series for me also found issue four of Killer Smile I think I only need one more issue of that I think I need issue number two and I was really happy to find three issues of the Strange Armor miniseries. So now I have that one complete as well. There's issue number two, number four, and number five. And Concrete is another uh, indie character. Uh, it's Paul Chadwick art and story. Um, just, it's great stuff. Um, I highly recommend picking up some. Uh, uh, concrete issues if you've never read any of that um, it's it's really good um, really really good stuff and then I know uh, some people have been picking this up um, apparently it's been optioned for a movie or TV series or something uh, I saw the complete miniseries there 20 cents each I figured I would pick it up and see what it's like um, and that is Epic Comics Crash Ryan uh, issue number one here pretty good shape it's got that price stamp on it but again I don't think that's a big deal uh, otherwise it's in uh, probably very fine maybe a uh, fine plus pages are still pretty white um, Issue number two, number three, and number four. So that full uh, mini series there. I'm always surprised I see stuff, you know, people show off in their videos, and then the next week I go to the flea market and, you know, it's there. It's just it's amazing um, how that happens. It happens a lot. Uh, and I grabbed, uh, this is a second copy, but the, my other copy is in um, pretty, uh, pretty beat up shape. Uh, this one is in really nice condition. Uh, it's this Star Slayer from PC Comics, issue number one. Uh, great Mike Grell art. Uh, it's a neat story. Like it says, it's a Celtic barbarian. Uh, he gets transported to the future, so it's kind of, uh, well, it's kind of like uh, an Exo Man of War without the Exo suit, you know? Um... I said, uh, and it also happens to be uh, the first, like the first, uh, I guess they consider it cameo appearance of the Rocketeer uh, because of this uh, full page ad, uh, Dave Stevens art. So issue number two is the one you want to find. It's actually got the first part of uh, the story. It's considered a first full appearance, but um, Star Slayer issue number one is a good one to pick up. You can usually find it in quarter bins or dollar bins. 
Now I was happy to find some more early uh, Valiant. Uh, grab this issue of Shadow Man number four, Frank Miller cover. I always like this cover. Uh, reminds me of something from Sin City. Um, I grabbed an Eternal Warrior number two. And two copies of Eternal Warrior number one. Um, they're all in really great shape. Um, this one does have a little bit of a rubbing here in the white uh, edge on the, the spine. Um, but uh, not too bad. Great Frank Miller covers. And this early Valiant stuff is starting to heat up again. I guess because of all the talk with their movie deals. So if you find them cheap, uh, pick them up before they all get snatched up. And then uh, got a few uh, dollar books. I think the most expensive book I picked up was uh, four bucks. They're all 25% off. So I grabbed this uh, DC Comics Presents. Uh, this is annual number three, Superman and Shazam. It's an awesome Gil Kane cover. And uh, anytime you see Superman and Shazam together, uh, it's always a pretty neat matchup or team up. I like seeing them together. And uh, so I picked that up. Uh, this was pretty cool. Phantom Stranger number 33. Um, it's got a little bit of spine uh, wear. Mainly right here, but uh, I'm always surprised at these black bordered covers uh, when they're still uh, nice and dark. Um, not a lot of spots or anything. And this book's in pretty decent shape. And it's got Dead Man. For a dollar, I was surprised to find this. Uh, Batman 318. It's the uh, introduction of Firebug. Not a big major character, but uh, still. It's a uh, minor key. And uh, with this series heating up, um, I saw this issue and had to grab it. This is Secret Wars number seven. It's in really good shape. It was a buck. Um, yeah, all these are Marvel. Um, next, working on that uh, Submariner. Uh, volume 1 it ran through the 60s and 70s, so I grabbed issue 29 uh, featuring Hercules. Uh, this is in probably VG Plus. Um, black background is still, uh, you know, nice and dark. A few spine ticks. Pages are um, kind of cream to light tan, uh, which is usual on these uh, uh, 15 cent cover books, but it's not that big a deal to me. Um, I really like that cover too, it's pretty cool. I uh, grabbed a couple of Spider-Man uh, uh, books uh, right around number 200. I'm always surprised to find these uh, for pretty cheap. I think these were two bucks. Uh, this is issue 204 featuring the Black Cat. This is uh, one of her earlier appearances. Uh, it's in pretty decent shape. It's got a little bit of spine wear right here. Um, but it's mostly non-color breaking. So I had to grab that. And issue 197 with this cool uh, cover with the kingpin. He's got Spider-Man down, about to drop a couch on his head. And these next few books I was really, really happy to find. Um, I grabbed Astonishing Tales number 35 with uh, Deathlock. It's a Rich Buckler cover. Uh, looks like he's fighting uh, a general from uh, the Hulk. <laughs> but uh, it's a neat cover. Really good shape. Um, I also grabbed issue number 33. I'm trying to complete as much of this uh, Astonishing Tales run as I can. And some of these books are pretty hard to find and uh, man this one's for two dollars I was really surprised to find this it's in pretty decent shape um, it's got a small issue on the spine a little bit of a 
I don't know if this is like some staining or some rubbing from another book but uh, other than that it's pretty sharp little just slightly off white but uh, Astonishing Tales 26 I believe the second appearance of Deathlock I know number 25 is his first um, again it was two bucks And uh, I'm always picking up these older Thor issues when I find them in uh, good shape for a decent price. So I grabbed issue 171 uh, with the Wrecker. It's a really, really sharp uh, cover. This is in probably a VG Plus shape, I would say. A um, few spine ticks. No major creasing. Colors are still nice and uh, deep really like that cover um, the colors just pop to me and uh, like I said that one was like three dollars so couldn't couldn't leave that there and uh, the final book that I picked up and I'm really uh, happy to find this book even though it's in um, probably good plus maybe VG minus but uh, Anytime I find these books for just a few dollars, I think this one was four bucks. It was the most expensive one. Uh, it's Tales to Astonish 83. Uh, the Hulk Submariner. It's got the Hulk on the cover with uh, General Ross, and I believe that's Rick Jones. And uh, you can see it's got uh, a little color fading from rubbing here. Corners are soft few spine ticks especially at the staples but they're still well attached um, pages are a little light tan and uh, the overall cover is um, looks a little faded to me I believe the yellow background should be a little bit darker but um, still 12 cent tells to astonish um, silver age book for like four dollars uh, 25 percent off so uh, I think I ended up spending maybe 30 bucks it was about 28 30 dollars total uh, with the movie so not bad <clears throat> like i said these last few books here that these uh tales to astonish astonishing tales and especially this old thor um it's really happy to find uh i have issue 170 i need uh 169 because i believe uh 169 and 170 have the origin of uh galactus um, so, but, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, happy to pick up these older Thors when I find them there. Um, you know, I didn't even open this and check the credits. Right, back cover's still pretty white there. Yeah, pages are off-white. This book's in really good shape. Yeah, this is Stanley and Jack Kirby, so definitely happy to, to have that. Uh, just about anything Jack Kirby I will take especially when I can find it on the cheap so cool alright uh, like always I appreciate everybody watching and commenting um, so until next time might be a couple of weeks before I go back uh, money's getting a little tight uh, just uh, had finals this past week so I'm done with school for the semester and uh, that's good, but uh, yeah, anyway, thanks again, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, like always, till next time, keep reading those books, that's what they're for, anyway. <laughs> Later, y'all. <laughs>